What is up guys, Photo Pitch here, and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make a simple avatar for your YouTube channel. Let's go. Alright, so what we're looking at right now is just kind of what I've created really quick for my own channel. Uh, I by no means am I like a professional Photoshop CS6 you know, user. Uh, I'm a casual user, but I thought I'd at least share this information with you guys. If you guys want to go out and download a free trial of Photoshop CS6, you get 30 free days. I was able to teach myself pretty much all the basics within three or four days. And if you guys want to continue to watch my videos, you can click this subscribe button and uh, I'll be able to save you a lot of time. All right, let's get started. So what we're going to do is, I think I have a couple things already open here. This is going to be where we start. Uh, the first thing is, I, you know, you, what you want to do is you want to have your image. Uh, unless you want to create everything from scratch, just kind of on your own. But for me, I was able to find this image of pitch and uh, I'm going to make this my my avatar. So first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and remove this white background. Let's go ahead and zoom in with Control Plus. Over to the right, we're going to unlock this background, turn it into a layer. And now that we're here, we're going to click on Add a, add a Layer, the very bottom right. This is going to give us an alpha channel here. Alright, we'll click back on Layer 0. And uh, we're going to go over to our left hand navigation toolbar, use the magic wand, and Let's zoom in a little bit more. We're going to click right there. You'll see everything that's highlighted. See like a little glowing dashed line around everything. Hit the delete button. Deletes the, uh, the background right there. Now we're going to go in a little bit closer to these mental, middle uh, white areas. So let's go ahead and click that. Delete that. Click there. And the, and the further you go in, guys, the more precise you can be, as you can tell. Um, now let's go ahead and zoom back out. Control minus sign. And it looks like we got the majority of the white out of this picture. All right, so now that we're here, we're gonna go up to um, select and deselect. So now we're here. Uh, we're gonna go to the very top left-hand side. This is kind of like the drag tool. We're gonna drag this into the new uh, layer up to the top, right there. We're just gonna drop it anywhere. All right, let's go ahead and zoom in right here. And what we're going to, what we're going to create, guys, is this right here. Uh, very simple, yet catchy, you know, appealing to the eye, thumbnail, or avatar. All right, let's go back here. So now let's click back on our background. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Uh, you guys could easily name these, rename these if you want. Uh, I am going to go over here to the very left. I am going to use black. I'm going to hit Control, Backspace. It's going to go ahead and fill that layer or background with that color. And just a quick tip for you guys. Uh, let's say if we want to go red. Uh, we want this to be the back one right here. So we hit this little uh, arrow button. And it'll switch it back. We go control backspace. So we can just keep flipping around, flipping around. Uh, but for today's purpose, we're going to leave it black. And uh, let's go ahead and get... Uh, we're going to click on the eye next to the pitch logo so that it disappears. We're going to go to the left navigation toolbar, click on Gradient, and now we have our gradient. At the very top, you have several different options. I, I believe the default is this very first square one, and uh, I'm going to click on the circle, and let's see what colors we want. We can go into the gradient tool here, and let's go ahead and double click on that. This is where you're going to change your color. I have already have yellow selected, but I'm not sure what your default is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and leave yellow. Click OK. And right in the middle, we're going to go kind of like that. That looks good. And just to give you guys a heads up, you can keep doing this to see what, you know, it's going to delete the previous uh, gradient, uh, depending on how big you want, how small you want. Uh, if you want to put it up here, and then, you, I mean, to add multiple, you'll have to do uh, some other steps. But for today, we're just going to do a simple circle in the middle like that. Uh, let's do a little bit smaller. Uh, a little bit bigger. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go take a look at that. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Now let's go back to our pitch layer. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control T. This. Oh, nope. Sorry, we're on the wrong layer. Let's go ahead and hit Enter. Let's actually select the pitch layer. Hit Control T. And now what we're going to do is we're going to transform this. We'll be able to stretch it, rotate it, do whatever we want with it. Uh, hit enter so that we can drag it back. Alright, let's go ahead and center that right there. That looks good. 
All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add some effects to that actual pitch logo or the text. All right. Very bottom, while we have that layer selected, click the FX button, bottom right. We're going to click on blending options. Now let's go ahead and select bevel and emboss. As I'm doing this, you can see the difference. So it's adding a little bit of shadow and depth to field on the actual edges of pitch. Uh, contour we're going to select. And you can see right there, I'm going to keep selecting it so you guys can look at the, the picture. All right, let's go ahead and select that. Stroke, this is a big one. Stroke, um, so right now, let's go ahead and click on stroke. It's adding a black font. I want to, let's test around, let's play around with some colors. See right there, we added a little bit of pop, a little zazz on that. And what we can do is, if we want, on the size, we can stretch it, minimize it, do whatever we want. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And we'll go with that. Let's go to Inner Glow. I believe Inner Glow might work. Uh, let's go in here. If we want, we could throw some, some teal on there. Doesn't look like too much happen. Uh, we take the opacity down or up. Uh, we can play around with that. Uh, but for us, what we're going to do is we're going to leave it like that. Let's go ahead and click OK. And you can play around with all those settings right there. And let's get our drag tool. Center that like that. <coughs> and you know what? Let's make this a little bit bigger. All right. Hit Enter. Pop like that. Go ahead and uh, minimize. And we have a basic avatar, guys. Uh, go ahead and leave me a like or comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you guys have any tips and, uh, or, or questions or something like that, feel free to ask that down in the comments below. And um, I'll pretty much read all questions. I'll, I'll try to do my best help, help with you guys. Um, I'm by no means uh, the most advanced user at this, as you can see. I'm just trying to offer you guys basic solutions on adding an avatar to your YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Photo pitch out.